by following this tutorial you will learn how you go from this to this. For this machine gun we will be editing here inside of the content blueprints the BP rifle and first person character. I'm in my BP rifle all already and by standard we have the on projectile and it shoots a projectile. So alt click to get this off and let's place this where we have some more room. In an earlier tutorial I showed you how line traces worked and I go more in depth in that tutorial so I go quickly here over that part and then show you the automatic machine gun part. But the basics are still the same so draw the Zeph, line trace by channel, okay the start location let's get a reference to the first person character, get first person camera reference and then get world location and this is the start part. The end point of our line trace, let's move this a bit, get the forward vector so we are aiming where our karma starts a forward direction, then we need to multiply the distance with our gun range, so create a variable gun range, compile, let's make this a float, compile, then 20,000. By the way, I go into these details once more in a previous video you can see here on screen. Okay, let's get the gun range, set that like this, and let's add this one to our start location. Okay, great, and that is our endpoint. Three channel, camera, actors to ignore. We don't want to be shooting ourselves, so get a reference here for the pers person character and then line it up like this. Let's make it neatly and debug for duration. Okay, so right now, when I'm here, now I'm shooting line traces. So I can see when I hit or go through items. Okay, for some special effects, let's uh, drag out here for a branch. And the return value is this condition. So when it hits something, we uh, get a branch. So when this is true, we want to play an effect. So emitter at location, spawn emitter at location. And location is here from out of hit, drag this off and break the hit results. Open this one up. Let's say when we hit an actor. At that location, we want to spawn an emitter. By the way guys, for the content draw, uh, you can also right click Add future or content pack, then content, and this is the one that I added for my effects. And then play, for example, this explosion effect, and also play a sound. Play sound at location. Once more, the location is the location where we hit stuff. So now when I test this out, I made one mistake. I have to select the sound, of course. Let's choose this one. Okay, this is already looking pretty nice. So, how do we go about creating here into an automatic gun? We're going to create an event. So, timer by event. So this is the one we are going to create. So, set timer by event, connect this up like this, and the event is the on-fire projectile itself. And let's choose a timer for this. Let's have this each half second, just for testing purposes. Let's also create a variable, so right click here on return value, then promote to variable. Let's name this gun timer reference or something fancy like that. So later on we can reference this and then plug this in like this. Now you will see an error already. So when I hit play, I shoot this once, but I can't stop shooting. So this is shooting forever. We need to clear this timer. By the way, you can also take looping, so this is looped but it's also always firing. So how do we stop this? Well, we go back here to our first person character. So upon release, when, I mean when it is pressed, it calls use item, which here binds the event to the on-fire projectile, which we fire off here. So let's also create one here, an event dispatcher, and let's name this one, stop fire, compile, and let's drag this in here and use call. So when it is released, it calls stop fire. So any blueprint that listens to this will stop fire on released. So back in our rifle, you see I found this one right here. We can also drag this off and then bind event. And we name this one stop fire. And here it is, bind event to stop fire. 
And the target is also the first person character reference. Okay, great. So now this blueprint is listening when my primary action, which is the left mouse button for firing, is released. So from event, drag off, click here, and then add custom event. Let's call this one stop firing. Great. Now we have our reference right here. And from our reference, drag it up, clear, timer and invalidate timer by handle. This is the one we need. Okay. So we won't be shooting automatically anymore. And one more thing, we need our animation. So alt click to connect to disconnect this from the previous one. Let's grab this one, drag it right here. And let's connect this one up. Okay. So right now, let's test it out. So this is shooting automatically and I can stop right now. So this is the basics of how this works. And also you can increase the fire rate. So let's also create a variable for this one. Let's name this fire rate. Hit compile. And instead of 0.5, let's call this one 0.1. Okay. And let's see how this works now. Crazy cool, am I right? And now for something really nuts. Let's uh, first disable our sound. Let's go back here to fire rate and let's set this to something really small. And go like this. See, this is pretty cool, right? So this is firing really fast, but this is too fast. Your FPS maybe won't handle it. So something like 0.2 for an automatic gun will do fine. So this is basically how you set up your line trace add effects, add animation, bind it with the event dispatcher, and also make sure you can stop firing in Unreal Engine 5.